Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to change the CVT fluid in a 2014 or 2015 Honda Civic. You will need four quarts of Honda HCF2 fluid, as well as new washers for the drain plug and fill plug. And to fill the fluid, you will either need a fluid pump like this, or you might be able to rig up something with a funnel and hoses to get down to the fill plug. You'll need a 3 8 ratchet. I also like to use a short extension. And you'll need a 17 millimeter socket or wrench. For cleanup, you'll also need some shop rags and some solvent or brake clean. You'll want to have the car jacked up on a level surface. You'll want the car jacked up evenly because you set the level of the fluid based on overflowing out of the fill port. First, we need to remove this metal shield here. It has four Phillips number three bolts in it. Then there's this small plastic cover here, along with Phillips number two screws. This is the transmission drain plug. It's the 3 8 square in the middle there. The fill plug is right here on the front of the transmission. It's a 17 millimeter. You should remove this before the drain plug so air can get into the transmission and you don't create a giant mess like you're about to see me do because I did not remove this first. So reach up there with a wrench or a socket. Loosen that. Now you got your drain pan under there. Take this off before you drain the fluid. There might be some fluid that comes out. Looks like the washer stayed stuck to the transmission, so I'm gonna use a screwdriver to pop that free. Once we filled it and checked the fluid, we'll replace this ring, but don't replace it quite yet. So take your ratchet. This is where I like to use the extension, so I'm not just cramming the ratchet into this plug. And break it free. And position your drain pan. So you can prevent making giant mess like that by taking off the fill plug or the air plug at the top before you take out the drain plug. I should have done that. So the drain plug has a little magnetic tip on it to catch any debris. So you want to wipe that off before you put it back in. Also change the washer. After letting it drain for several minutes, you should be down to just a little trickle like this. So now I'll put the plug back in with the new washer. And then tighten it with the ratchet. Take the cap off a bottle of fluid and screw the pump on. It'll take about 3.5 quarts, so just pump as much in until it starts to overflow. Alright, so you can tell we got fluid in because it is now overflowing out of the fill port. Now I'll take the pump out of there. Once it stopped overflowing the steady stream, we'll put the plug back in. Remember we're not using the new washer yet because we have to do the level check procedure now. 
Now we need to start the engine and get it up to operating temperature. Now the one thing with these cars is that they don't have an actual temperature gauge. They only have a cold light and a hot light. So it's hard to tell when it's actually warmed up, but I'm just going to rev it to 3000 for a couple minutes. Then we'll take that felt plug out again and see how much fluid comes out. Now with our foot firmly on the brake pedal, we will shift to each position of the gear shift and hold it at each one for about three seconds. And shut it off and right away go pull that fill plug so excess fluid can drain out. Now remove the fill plug and see if any fluid comes out. If fluid doesn't come out, it means you need to add a little bit more fluid. Be careful because everything is now very hot. So let's get our bottle and pump again. Stick the hose in the hole and pump until fluid comes out again. When you're done, put the fill plug back in with the new washer. And tighten it with the wrench. And then clean everything off. Make sure to put the covers back on when you're done. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.